Hi guys, today we're going to be making a breakfast on the go recipe and it is a turkey sausage egg and cheese breakfast sandwich. Now I make this sandwich for myself once in a while and it helps me save some money. So as we make the recipe, go ahead and see how you would flip it. Maybe you want to make some egg whites instead of using whole eggs, but it's really easy and you're going to save some money in the process. So first we're going to make our turkey sausage and for best results, make it a day in advance and it's going to be easier on yourself on a day of work. So the spices are Mexican oregano, fresh garlic, chili powder, paprika, thyme, some fresh chopped garlic, cumin, lots of spices. Don't panic, the recipe will be in the bottom bar. Okay, so we're just going to add our garlic right to our ground turkey. And then we're going to follow that up with some Mexican oregano, which I like to rub in my hands first just to release all those oils and flavors and uh, make sure it stays in the bowl. <laughs> now we're gonna add all of our spices. Just add those in and give it a good mix. There's a turkey sausage at Costco that's available that I used to buy quite often. But here lately I've been making my own turkey breakfast sausage. So, you know, you know what's in it, you feel better about it, and you can control lots of things that go in it. So lastly, we're going to add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And we're doing this because the ground turkey that I'm using is 3% fat. And if you did not add any oil to this ground turkey, your sausage would be super, super dry. So you're going to need to add that fat so the meat can stay moist during the cooking time. Now I'm just going to take a small scoop, one that I use for cookies, and each scoop is about one ounce. So three scoops per patty makes a nice uh, size patty for a sandwich. Now you don't have to make patties out of this meat. You can just cook it bulk like we did in the previous video for our sausage frittata. So it's just your choice of how you want to treat the meat. Now you'll notice I'm taking my thumb to make a small indention in the middle of the patty. And what we're doing is we're trying to help the patty keep its shape. And that's a good trick for burgers too. We're just going to place the patty in a dry pan. We don't need any oil because we have oil already in the patty. And we only need two minutes on each side. Okay, so the breakfast on the go recipe started once we put that sausage in that pan, okay? Once it started cooking, you're on a timeline. You're trying to get out the door. So now, with a little bit of Grand Diamond seasoning in my one egg, I'm going to add a bit of water, maybe like a half a teaspoon, and all that does is create a little steam while the egg is cooking, and it gives the egg a little fluff. Some people add milk. Either will do. Now instead of butter, I'm going to be using Earth Balance, which I get from Trader Joe's. It's also available at Whole Foods. Um, it's a really good product to use in place of butter if that's what you're looking for. It's a good alternative. And so I keep it on hand and I'm liking it, especially when I'm dealing with eggs. You can cook your egg any way you want, of course. But what I do is I just pull the cooked egg to the center while I try to push the uncooked egg to the outer perimeter and I'm just trying to make a little shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember we are trying to head out the door so it does not have to be perfect. Just do what you can to get the raw egg to the outer perimeter that way it'll cook for you. See I'm just tilting the pan pushing out that raw egg to the outer perimeter and then pulling it in. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper jack cheese that I've grated really fine because it's gonna melt quick then I put the lid on the top of the egg and then the heat turn it off and then I just let it sit there and the remaining part of the steam will cook the top of the egg further that way you have a nice little patty and if it's not just fold it up so it'll fit on your English muffin now while we were cooking our eggs I had the English muffins in the toaster or you can put it under the broiler to toast really quickly and then you just put the sandwich together it's that easy now I'm showing you an even leaner version of this sandwich, two egg whites, no cheese, and the turkey sausage. No matter which one you choose, it's sure to have you full, satisfied, and ready to face the day. Oh, and how to prep and store that leftover turkey sausage? All you have to do is take some parchment paper and cut it just larger than the patty itself. And then put a piece of parchment in between each patty. Now you can store them for a couple of days, or you can freeze them and use them as needed. Don't worry, I've included all those little tips in the recipe. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember, these recipes and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. And I'll see you guys next time.